Hi guys, just going to do a quick vlog. Um, yesterday I went over to my mates and uh, gave him a hand in the garden and uh, when I came home I walked back with um, two bikes. So I biked over there with one and came back with two. And so I picked up the um, blue mountain bike, which is over there on the, down on that, beside that trailer. You might be able to make out that there's three bikes down there. The black shop that I did up with all the funny police siren and police light and some pegs and everything on it. It's going to get broken up and scrapped because it's getting on my nerves. Um, yes, yeah, so I bought that back. That is going to need... Uh, I've got to put a five-speed cassette, not cassette, free wheel back on the wheel. So it's got six on there, but a five-speed shifter. And I could, if I really want to, save a lot of work and just um, set it up so only the first five gears work, but I'm going to put it back. Because if I ever decide to sell it, you know, at least I can say it is complete and as it should be. And not some sort of dodgy, bodged up thing with um, the gears bodged together. Um, it does... Well, it doesn't need two gear cables in the sense that they are still connected and working but where the cables have been exposed to the elements they have gone rather rusty and I think through use they'll snap quite easily so I'm just going to go ahead and replace both cables anyway I should have one long enough for the front gears in my um, box of spare cables I will need at least to go and buy the a new one for the rear. Rear brake cable and front brake cables, they all work fine. Rear one is a little bit sticky in the sense it doesn't ping off or retract properly after you've um, pulled the brake on. Yeah, it retracts fine if you push the lever with your fingers, but um, so I think a bit of oil down the um, outer casing will um, fix that problem. And there might be a bit of dirt or something down there that's catching or a kink in the cable, so I'll take it all apart and just service it, and that should be fine. Um, but I think the biggest issue with it is the back wheel. The um, well, I don't think the wheel bearings are actually existent anymore. I mean, from the way that wheel wobbles around, I'm glad I didn't choose to walk to my friends and ride it back, actually. Uh, and I'm going to change the seat because it's got an old sort of um, 70s style sprung saddle on it, which some people still like, but it just doesn't, to me, it doesn't suit the bike. But uh, that's all that needs. Probably about an hour's worth of work on it if I count the wheel. Well, I thought, as I've got to do the wheel bearings, and it's got a six-speed freewheel on it now. I might as well throw one of my um, five-speed freewheels on that I've got. Because uh, I've got to take the freewheel off to do the wheel bearing. So I might as well put the five-speed on as I've gotten. Uh, so it's actually a 15-speed mountain bike. That proves I was quite old because I'm not sure you can actually get them nowadays. Um, I know seven speeds are pretty common, which is what I see the most of nowadays, nowadays and the odd six-speed freewheel. But, uh, well, I should say 18-speed and 21-speed, really, shouldn't I? As I'm referring to bikes and not the wheels. <laughs> uh, I do actually have a 21-speed. I upgraded my um, old rally cruiser type bike, whatever you want to call it, to a 21 speed, when I changed the wheels. So I could only find a 7 speed wheel, so <laughs> I just left it as it was and stuck it in there. Because it doesn't have a tick tick lever, it's like a racing lever. Um, it just moves up and down, it doesn't click. Um, it doesn't look like a racing bike lever, it is a mountain bike lever, but it works the same as a racing bike lever, a vintage racing bike lever. Uh, 
sorry, I was taking a drink. Um, I'm sort of done with this vlog, I've got to pop out before I do anything else. Go and pick up my prescription from the um, pharmacy and I've got to drop this off at Victory Housing. So I thought, as I'm going to be out on my bike, going to get my prescription, I might as well go and do that as well. Which I might actually do first and pick my prescription up on the way back. That way I haven't got to carry a prescription bag around with me, have I? Because this um, Victory Housing is actually the other side of town. I think if I biked it, it's about a mile. So it's going to take me a good five minutes or so to get up there. Fighting through traffic as well. <sighs> so yeah agreement thing to pay off my rent arrears, that's all it is, I filled it all in and signed it and whatnot. but um, they didn't give me a name to address it to, it just says return to victory, thank you so I've just put it in an envelope and I'm uh, going to take it up there I don't actually know who my rent officer is now because they, they've sort of changed every few years I suppose people, you know, they move on to different jobs and whatnot as people do or get posted to different areas or promoted or whatever so I know I don't have the um, housing officer I had when I first moved in anyway six years ago heck I don't think I could stick a job for that long well if I really 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 liked it I could but I suppose it's not easy being a housing officer you know someone writes in and complains and you've got to follow that complaint up and then you've got to look like the bad guy because you're following up the complaint <laughs> mind you I have to say I haven't had any complaints about my trailer being out front there which I'm surprised at but I do try not to keep it looking untidy yeah it does need a repaint because the rust is coming through so I am going to um uh, get cheap tin of paint from QDs. It'll be the same paint I used on that um, light project I built. Actually, I've still got some left in the tin, so I might even just use that up. Because I've only ever painted that trailer once every couple of years. I've had that trailer for ages. Here's enough in there. Not to do the whole trailer, I don't think. But yeah, I'll just use this metallic silver paint. High build, high performance, tough and durable for decorating. You, know, you can use it on metal outside, you see. That's why I use it. It's only £1.29 for a tin of that, so like I said, it will last it will last the best part of a couple of years before you'd have to do it. Even longer if you could dry store what you've painted. So if I could dry store that trailer it would have lasted even longer, but I need to sort the wheels out on it. Um, I'm actually going to replace the wheels and the tyres. Because um, to help prevent theft, I leave the trailer sitting out there on two flat tyres. Which naturally hasn't done the tyres the world of good, but at the same time, no one's able to run off with it. I don't think anyone would, because I couldn't use it if they um, wanted to. Because uh, you need the hitch that me and my mate built to um, tow it on a bike. It's not a car trailer or anything. What it actually is, is the um, the main frame of it, or the box, is one of those old um, barrows, four-wheeled barrows you get at garden centres to put your heavy gear on. It's an old one of them which um, we took the front steer a bit off. Actually, my mate had a couple of them. And uh, I used one to make my little trailer out there. Because uh, I think the steer a bit broke on it, so um, we took the rear wheels off. Made my own, so well, I suppose you'd call it a chassis. With, what did we use? Two lengths of box section and four lengths of angle iron. To make the wheel brackets either side, and that was it really. And another bit of box section for the tow bar. <laughs> <laughs> it's actually pretty simply made if you can get the metal. Um, but I have been tempted to make the sides either a little higher 
or to actually make a um, box trailer with a roof over it. So if I do have to transport anything I don't want to get wet, or I could actually use it as an extra storage when it's sitting out front, because I could put locks on the back door, etc. And shove it right up against that wall. <laughs> but it's just finding the materials to do it. And uh, I can't really ask my mate for help because um, he's rather busy. Well, I could drill the holes and bolt it together if he could cut me the lengths of um, angle iron I'd need to modify it. So I would need one, two, three, four uprights. Uh, two, two cross members and two to go down the length of the trailer. But, uh, maybe one day when I come across some good enough angle iron, I'll do that. Then I'd use probably aluminium sheeting to um, panel it out, just because it's light. But I would add a couple of extra supports down the side just to prevent it getting um, bent outwards. And I could even do what my friend did with his trailer and rivet the aluminium sheeting to, um, to the sides of the trailer. I'd probably do that actually, drill the holes and use a rivet gun and rivet it. That actually sounds like a plan. Instead of using nuts and bolts. Which would probably work out being heavier because you want to keep your weight as low as possible. Otherwise, it's more work to try and pull it. And it's a lot harder work. Uh, oh yeah, I read the news article. My mum showed me this earlier. Yes, there is a smashed up police car because said policeman thought that would be a good idea to try and stop in front of a dump truck, a stolen dump truck, I'll show you the size of it. It's not the little type either. I'll click on it. And scroll down. It's one of them big boys that someone decided to steal and go on a little rampage with. And I'm assuming the guy with his legs crop. No, that might be him arrested there. I don't know. Yeah, that happened yesterday, apparently. In my area, well, not in this direct area, but in my county, I should say, in Norfolk. Um, apparently it's damaged three police cars. Now, I know some people have mixed views on the police, because I know they can be toss pots. I'm not that naive, but at the same time, if you think about it, who pays for the police cars? We do. It comes out of our taxes. So, some prick has gone and smashed up that, and guess who's got to foot the bill for three replacement police cars? They're not cheap. Well, buying the actual car is, because they're only Fords. Fords aren't that expensive. I think they're only Ford Mondeo Estates, actually. That's what most of our police force use, here in Norfolk, anyway. Uh, always have used Fords, actually. I've seen, we've had Vauxhalls over the years. Uh, we've had an Audi, we used to use Land Rover, but I haven't seen them for a while. I um, stopped using the Land Rover Discovery, because all I ever see is the um, uh, Ford truck thing. With um, a, a um, canopy over the truck bed, and the uh, blue light bar on that. We've actually got a couple of them. We've got one with a light bar and one with two um, rotating blue lights on it. I thought, wow, that's old school. New vehicle, old school lights. That's how cheap our bloody police department is in Norfolk. We've got a nice new Ford 4x4 truck with a canopy on the truck bed. But instead of putting nice LED lights on it, we'll just stick a couple of old school ro rotating beacons on it. Because we're cheap. I mean, half... A lot of our cars are still using the um, strobe light bars that they used sort of ten years ago, or more than ten years ago. 
and, uh, I suppose with cutbacks they've got to save money somehow so if they're still working and still effective then use them because <laughs> I'd probably do the same if I was in their shoes you know if it's still a perfectly good work and light bar why well, get rid of it if it's still capable of doing its job use it and replace them um, when they fail altogether which might be why there's a mix, because we've got a mix of cars around here with the old strobe light bars on and a mix with LED light bars on so uh, I don't know if it's the ones with LEDs are the ones where they've replaced the old light bars because they've failed and they c probably can't get the parts for them anymore <laughs> oh. Right. Well, I've got things to do. I want to get that. I've got that Friday, so I couldn't really take it in till today anyway. Because I was busy Friday. So, I need to go and use the bathroom. Not just for a number two, I need both. I'm holding on to both, and I'm sort of crossing my legs and nipping my ass up at the same time. <laughs> So I'm going to go do that, then I'm going to go and do what I've got to do in town, and, and I've got lots of crap to sort out here. So um, thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you again in the, in the next video. Bye.